Hello, this is Alyssa Jones with Vista Solutions, and today we're going to take you through an introduction to ODO Accounts Payable. We're going to talk through the questions for managers and the answers. We're going to go through a workflow diagram of ODO Accounts Payable, and lastly, we'll walk through an example, including a little bit of analysis based on the questions we asked. Often when people look at the payables function of ODO, they're really trying to answer some key questions that are going to help improve their business. Some of the questions that a manager might need to answer using the workflows in Odoo are, how do I know that the receiving has been done and it's time to create a bill? How are non-inventory bills processed? How does the three-way matching work? And how do we identify price variance? Odoo provides you with the tools to be able to answer these questions and to better manage your bills and payments if you understand how to set up Odoo in the right way and analyze the results correctly. Before I show you the system, I would like to take you through the workflow of Odoo. This will give you a good understanding of how one object in Odoo flows to the next. This is a simple workflow diagram for a manufacturing company that produces barbecue smokers. The portion we'll be looking at today is the final swim lane under accounting. As you'll see, there are lots of processes that feed into this section, including manufacturing, purchase and inventory. Please review our other videos to go into further detail of these applications. Now let's look at a more in-depth accounts payable diagram. Odoo allows you to create two types of bills, inventory base for anything that is stocked, and non-inventory base, for example, office supplies, regular expenses, or electricity and insurance. Inventory-based orders are triggered from the creation of a purchase order, while non-inventory base can just be triggered by a bill. They do not necessarily require a purchase order. Once the PO is received, a vendor bill can be created based on the shipment. This includes allowing partial vendor bills if there are some products on back order. Vendors have the ability to send copies of their vendor bills into Odoo so you can match them by reviewing the document against the system copy. And once you are satisfied, you can post the bill. Once the entry is posted, there are two ways that a payment can be registered and reconciled. The first is by registering the payment separately against the vendor bill and then reconciling it against your bank statement. The second way is by waiting for the amount to hit your bank statement and it will reconcile and mark it all as paid at the same time. Now let's look at my Odoo database. We will be working out of the accounting and the purchase application. Creation of the vendor bill is based on the rules you have set up for your product. This can be found under the purchasing application and under products. And I'll be looking at the purchase tab on my offset box for 50 gallons. The vendor bill can be created based on ordered quantities or on received quantities. If the product's invoicing is based on ordered quantities, the vendor bill can be created prior to the delivery order being confirmed. If the product's base invoicing policy is based off received quantities, the vendor bill needs to wait for the products to be delivered. In this scenario, my products are set up based off received quantities. This means the goods need to be received before the vendor bill can be created. You will see if I go under purchase orders that I have created a purchase order for two of my offset 50 gallon boxes. If I go and look at my current journal items, you'll see there is no journal items for this product yet today. Once I go in and receive my products and I validate them, and I refresh my journal entries, you will now see that there are two entries where my inventory has been debited by 240 and my stock interim account has been credited by 240. Yeah. If I go back to my purchase order, I can now create my vendor bill by clicking on create bill. It will automatically create the bill with the items from the purchase order. Odoo requires you to enter the bill date, which I'm going to enter for today. And once the bill is completed and I'm happy with it, I'm going to confirm. Okay. 
If we now go to our journal entries and I refresh again, you'll now see that there's a bill entry. My stock interim account has been entered for 240, which matches against my stock interim account for my original adjustment. I have my purchase tax for 36 and then my full amount has hit my accounts payable account for the $276. This customer does not have any existing or outstanding payments or credits, so we need to register a payment. We're going to do this manually by clicking on register payment. Ensuring that you choose the right journal, and in this scenario, they've paid into my bank account, so I'm going to choose bank, and I can create my payment for my full amount. You'll see that by doing this, it changes the status of my bill to in payment status. If I go back to my journal items and refresh, you'll now see that there's an additional journal item where it has credited my outstanding payment and debited my accounts payable, matching my accounts payable account from my earlier transaction for the bill. To fully complete the payment of the bill, we now need to reconcile this against my bank. We do this through the accounting application. I don't currently have my bank synchronization turned on, so I have to manually create the bank statement item to match. I do this by clicking on the three dots and then operations and clicking new. I enter my label and I enter my amount. Okay, I am going to be, try and match this 276 and it will be negative as I have paid that out of my account. Okay. I can then go in and click match to match this against my payment. I look at my existing entries and you'll see, I can see my 276 in here and I can select on that and validate to complete that validation. If I now go back to my journal entries and refresh, you will now see that there is another entry where it has credited my bank and it has debited my outstanding payments account, which has put in a matching number against my outstanding payments account from my original register payment. This is the full flow from PO to completed bill payment for an inventory item. As per our earlier diagram, the non-inventory starts from creating a vendor bill manually from the accounting home screen and entering the details. Odoo has the ability to ensure that your purchase order, vendor bill and receipt all match automatically through a setting called three-way matching. To use three-way matching, the product invoicing policy has to be based on received quantities. Let's create a purchase order for a quantity of 10 and we're going to confirm that. But when I receive it in, I'm only going to receive in seven. Okay, and I'm going to create a back order for those other three. Because our invoicing policy is based on received quantities, it will create a vendor bill for the seven when I click create bill. Okay. If I look at my other info tab on my vendor bill, there is now a new field called should be paid. There are three options that can appear here. Yes, which means you can go ahead and pay it. Exception, which means there is an issue and they don't match. And lastly, no, which is when you force a vendor bill and the products you bought are not received and you shouldn't go ahead with the payment. 
you will now see that if I go ahead and I change the quantity on the vendor bill to 10 and I go back, if I save that, and I go to my other info tab, there will be an exception because I'm trying to bill for more than has been received. Sometimes when the goods come into Odoo, the price of the product may vary from the original price in the purchase order for several reasons. This is captured in a price variance account that is set up under either the product categories or the products. So I've created my purchase order for seven at $4. I will now go in and change the price of my vendor bill on $6 as they have sent me their bill and it has actually gone up in price. Once I confirm this, and I open up my accounting journal items for my latest bill. Okay. You will see that the difference of $14 has been put against the price variance account. Please note, Odoo does have a process to include landed costs and additional costs of the price that is separate to what we have just gone through. Odoo accounting has a lot of reporting, but the most important report for accounts payable is the aged payable. This shows all of the outstanding payments and when they are due. There are several filters across the top. This shows all of the outstanding payments by a particular quarter or by a particular month or financial year. I can also search for a particular partner or if I've added tags to, a, to my vendor bill. And lastly, I can choose to unfold them all and have a look at them individually. On the individual records, I can click through to the journal items for that or I can open the, ve the vendor. And lastly, I can click on the bill and open up the bill. This is just a quick introduction on how to use Odoo Accounts Payable. And as you can see, you can easily create, pay and reconcile bills and track outstanding payments that you need to make. If you're interested in learning more, please reach out to the sales team at Vista. We'd love to help you.